Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna be talking about items I picked up from Trader Joe's. So Trader Joe's is a neighborhood grocery store. It's very small on the inside and depending on where you're at or where the store is located, it might be in like a shopping plaza. So if I didn't pay attention to mine, I would have ran right past it because it was literally right next to a persona. So I would have missed it. Um, but the reason why I decided to go to Trader Joe's is I did have a salad from them about a couple of weeks ago and it was very good. Um, but then I seen a list of like high ratings on items from Trader Joe's, um, inexpensive uh, items at Trader Joe's. So I was like, okay, let me try it out. Uh, so let's jump right into it. All right, so the first item is a Mediterranean style salad kit. It's organic. Um, which I kind of like just because it's a lot of things going on especially if you guys watch like what the health or you're you know very concerned about your health and what you put into your body so not saying everything that is labeled organic is organic but I try to go on the organic side for the, for the most part so the things that they have in here are romaine lettuce shredded broccoli celery seasoned flatbread strips feta cheese sun-dried tomatoes we'll keep the sun-dried tomatoes out because i'm allergic um roasted chickpeas and a red wine vinaigrette so everything in there i like besides tomatoes and i like a vinaigrette um I mean, I'll do like a ranch or creamy dressing as well, but we're trying to stick to being healthy. Vinaigrette is probably the best way to go. Yes, it does have a lot of sodium in it, but it's more uh, healthier than like, a, you know, a creamy based uh, dressing. So the next item we have is uh, this broccoli and cheese quiche. So. Uh, I don't eat quiche or you know those type of things too often but I was walking through the aisles you know how like you just go in there for a couple of items and you just start browsing around and I was like oh let me pick this up too so I threw it up in the basket which I'll probably eat this tonight so I am on um, doing an intermittent fast so I've been doing this this will be my third week so for the first two weeks I kind of just was like okay I'll just do whatever so I'll fast for 16 hours and then from 12 to 7 o'clock or 12 to 8 o'clock then I can eat a meal um, and I really wasn't watching what I ate um, I wasn't eating like horrible but I wasn't restricting myself as well so I think starting this week on I'll try to make better decisions about what I'm eating so I think the quiche would be okay I mean it has broccoli and cheese in it um, it's not like the best thing to eat but it is a small portion um, so I should be okay with it so the next item is chicken tikka masala so they do have a vegan um, version as well uh, which I thought about picking that one up but sometimes I don't know I'm not all the way vegan esque not vegetarian esque so I was just like alright let's stick with the chicken uh, so I'm pretty excited about this one as well. So it's roasted chicken breast prepared on a robust cream sauce and a cumin flavored uh, rice. So this one is uh, was in the frozen section as well, and I did see this one on there um, on the list. So I had to pick this one up. I seen the vegan one on the list as well, but like I said, I don't know. I'm not too brave to try that one out yet. Uh, the next item that I did see on the list that I, I made sure that I had to get was this peach cream tart. So I love sweets. That's probably one of my biggest downfalls is sweets. Um, and then this one, I mean, it kind of reminds me of like an apple pie thing. I mean, I love peaches as well, but apple pie is probably like, you know, America's favorite pie. So I'll try the peach tart. Um, it looks good. And so... Hopefully I'll make it like when you know my friends and her, her kids come around because if not I'll end up eating the whole thing by myself and that's not a good look. So the next thing, like I said, you go into the grocery store and you have a list to get and then you just start grabbing other stuff. So this is one of the things that was not on my list but I grabbed it anyway. Speaking about apple pies, this is an apple pie-ish dessert. It's an apple blossoms 
Um, so it should be two of them in a pack, which is okay if I decide to eat both of them. Who's judging? But um, it looks good. It has the brown sugar on top. So it looks delicious already. All right, so the next two items, I was pretty excited to see that they had at Trader Joe's because my daughter is in love with Panda Express. Um, mainly their orange chicken and rice. So most of the time, I would just go ahead and get the orange chicken sauce. They sell Panda Express. Um, they sell the sauce at a grocery store. So I'll just get that, get popcorn chicken, like Tyson's popcorn chicken, cook it, and then mix it up with the sauce, broccoli, rice, and then there's her dinner. But Trader Joe's has their own orange chicken, uh, mandarin orange chicken. So pretty much bake and serve. So it's pretty much the same thing, but it cuts down me having to cook the popcorn chicken by itself, then cook it with the sauce and then serve it. So if I just go ahead and cook all of it at one time, kind of saves that, you know, saves time. So the next one was the honey walnut shrimp, and that one was mainly for me. Um, they also have this at Panda Express, so when I seen it in Trader Joe's, I was like, well, she's getting hers, I might as well go ahead and get mine as well. So these are two favorites, uh, one for her and one for me. And then the last thing, um, which I already opened up, but I had to try them out for you guys. So it's their bite-sized crispy cookies filled with Belgian chocolate. So like I said, I opened the box today. Um, and honestly, they taste like the Milano cookies to me. Um, but, I'll, and I'll go ahead and open it since I already opened the pack. They, they are small, but they have a lot more than the Milano cookies, which I think the Milano cookies maybe have like six or eight, depending, and I could be wrong. <clears throat> but this is what they come in. So it's three um, in each section. And there are six sections so they're pretty good they taste the same to me um, the chocolate is a bit darker but other than that they're pretty good so that is all that I picked up at Trader Joe's uh, for today like I said it's a, you know a small uh, neighborhood grocery store so some of the um, well-named brand items they might not have in there but they do have some hidden gems. And I think my overall total was like $36, which is not that bad if you think about the meals that you could make with it. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys later. Love you guys. Bye.